Today, we're looking at this crazy, fast, amazing program for Windows 10. You can use it for a bunch of other operating systems as well, like uh, Linux and maybe even Apple. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'm going to try my best. Sikalka. With this program, you will find duplicate files. Chances are, you have a bunch of duplicate files on your computers without even knowing it. These files can take up a lot of resources, hard drive spaces, especially videos. So today, I'm going to show you how to use this program on Windows machine to find duplicates and remove them. Go to this website, go down to Releases, click on Latest. So you can see that there's Linux, Mac, Windows. We're going to be using Windows. Click on the zip file. I'm going to put it in my C drive, so I'm going to click on C. Program Files. I'm going to make a new folder. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Duplicate Finder. I'm going to pull everything from the zip file into this folder. Control A to select all. Just drag it over. Continue. Do this for all current items. Continue. There's only one file you care about, and this is the Sakaka GUI. Double click on it to open it. It's going to give you a warning. Go ahead and click on more info, and then run anyway. I'm going to create this onto the Start menu, so right click, go up to Pin to Start, and now you can see that it's on my Start menu. This is what it looks like when you open the software for the first time. Click on Add to add folders that you want to scan. Start adding folders that you want it to scan. So for me, I'm going to give it some of my photos directory. If you accidentally add a folder in, just highlight the folder and then hit remove. So now we're just going to scan this folder. What do you want it to do? You want to find duplicate files. Don't forget to check the box recursive, meaning that it's going to scan all the folders within folders within folders. If you want to add more folders, now is the time to do it. Click on add and find the folder that you want to add in. For me, I'm just going to do this one folder, that's four pictures, and click on search. In this picture folder, I have around 13,000 files. While it's scanning, I think you should know why it's taking so long, because I'm using a i5 chip, that's the 12th generation Intel. 16 gigabyte of RAM. The uh, processor is almost three and a half gigahertz. So this is the result after 20 minutes for scanning 13,000 files, photos, whatever, in this pictures folder. On the left hand side, you can see the size, the file name, and the location of the file. Now, if you want to start deleting, go ahead and check the box on the file that you want to delete. It's pretty nice how they have a preview of the file for you to delete. Once you're content with selecting the files that you want to delete, go ahead and hit the delete button and then click OK to confirm. On the right hand side, you can scroll around to see that there's a lot of duplicate files. It's amazing. Now, I could go down the list and manually try to select the files that I want to delete, but of course that would take forever. One other option is to go down to the select option down at the bottom right hand corner and then select one oldest. So here you can see that it's going to try to delete all of the oldest files based on the date. If I go down to select and reverse selection, then you can see that if you have three duplicates, then it's going to select two after the three duplicates. Now that I'm happy with all of the selection that's going to be deleted, I'm going to click the delete button. Click OK. 
By default, when you hit the delete button, it's going to permanently delete everything. So if you don't want that, then go ahead and go into the settings, general tab, and then check this box, move deleted files to the trash, and then save configuration. All right, hopefully you found this tutorial very useful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.